It's still toasty warm out here this morning. It's in the 60s. It didn't get very cool last night. You can see what I mean about the leaves. We'll have to do something about that later in the week. There's other priorities first thing, but here at the beginning of the week, like do what JB needs done today and stow plants and restock the refrigerator because I didn't go to the grocery store last week and it's just a lot of stuff here. But I'll eventually mow and blow and we'll get around to moving some leaves. <sighs> but yeah, I'll take another pretty day in paradise. Enjoy this last of summer. I noticed the camellia in the front yard, the Sasanqua is blooming as nice as this one now. Really appreciate all the blooms this year. You can see there's space in there again, but what it did was make me realize that the dirt level in that fairy garden has gotten seriously too low and that I really need to do something about that. It's kind of blasé now. I need to fix it. This one needs a little work. Thankfully, um, the moss has started to grow in it. But this one I redid up here. I'm really pleased with how it's looking. So, yeah, you can really see that with the sun. Anyway, that one, I redid it and it looks better. So, you know, every few years you're going to have to do something to touch them up, redo them. You know, when you put plant, uh, dirt in a brand new pot, it's going to settle over time. And that's what this one did. Good morning, Panther. Hey, bud. Hi. He was playing with the front door rug right before bed last night just going crazy over there i don't know what he had i looked out to see maybe a bug it wasn't anything big <laughs> he was just playing and playing it's a good boy yeah. the view has changed and in a very nice way i told don we should put a door on both sides so i can enjoy it from the street and from this from the porch i'm actually likely to see it more from the porch They had intended to be the other way, but. Good morning. Hi, sweet pea. Hi, good morning. Oh, they're back. Yep, they're back. Including the guys in the parking lot that do the flagging and road. Yeah, they put the signs Lane up. closure, yep. No comment on how much might actually get done today. Right. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's uh, reasonably quiet up here today. We haven't seen any of our regular walker friends yet. Don't see them marking the fields, not mowing, which I'm totally good without the noise of the machines this morning. And just super soaking in the sun and short sleeves on this last very warm morning. Tomorrow won't be miserable by any stretch, but you know, we'll notice that it's cooler. <laughs> Big pickup truck came through and dumped that mound of, uh, I'm gonna call it dirt slash red clay. Must be gonna add some back to the fields. Fall maintenance. So this field's freshly marked. You see the, the chalk there? And there's a wiffle ball and two bottles. And they're just laying here. So the trucks are still on our left in the lot and not moved, not begun work. The guy, the right traffic control company still in the park parking lot in the vehicle waiting to get out and do traffic control. And just, you know, we walked for an hour and 15 minutes, so. They haven't moved. They haven't moved. I don't get it. JB went out to gas up the truck so he can, you know, head out in the morning without having to stop on the way. And I blew the driveway before we left and that's how many more leaves I blew the truck. That's how many more leaves are down. The boardwalk was totally clear, the entrance to the back door. <laughs> it's just raining leaves. Nothing to be done about it, but blow again sometime. Hi, buddy. Hi. 
Marty. Hi, I hear Marty too. You coming up at my leg? There's my Marty. Hi. So I took a combination of last year's cat house that I hadn't thrown away but wasn't in good shape. The Halloween kitty scratcher thing. And this year's, which is over here on the floor, but I had another one in the attic that hadn't been chewed on. And this is what I'm thinking for windows and doors. Hey, bud. Just sitting here for a minute with my buddy after a couple of hikes up and down that hill. The <laughs> rest sounded good. I am going to collect the yard art, the statuary, the gazing globes, the witch's balls, the things that go under the house, the short end of the house. And then before Don calls it quits for today, he said he'd help me get under there. He usually goes inside and I hand him the stuff and he places it carefully. So that's my outside to do today. That won't take super long. The plants were planning for Wednesday morning. It's going to be a little cool Tuesday night, but not a frost or a freeze. So subject to change, but that's the current plan. We don't want to use JB's time while he's here to move the plants if we don't have to. The guys are going to do some electrical stuff here in a bit. Some things for JB. See if they can fix a air compressor and maybe some other things. Well, here's the pile of stuff to go under the house. No clue if it's bigger or not from last year. I guess I see at least three things that are new, so it's a little bigger probably. It's no fun passing it through that door, but it is what it is. So when Don has time, we'll handle that. And then I've got the pots to go under the house gathered. This cluster, that cluster, minus the two big ones, they're not going here, here, <laughs> hi Marty, there's five pots here, including that one tropical plant, up to here, and uh, just a few there, this other stuff is headed upstairs on the plant cart, and then of course there's the three big tropicals to move. Hey. hey, you guys having some success? Here and there. Here and there. <laughs> On the important things, hopefully. <laughs> oh yeah, well the most important thing was Susie's windshield wiper. Yeah, I yeah. need to find the same one. Dottie told me where to get it and what, what yeah. I was supposed to ask for. So that okay. Yeah. Um, the two small battery chargers for the Ryobi 18 volt batteries yeah, were, were bust. That JB brought with him. That's right. So I'm giving him one that you extra guys had. that we had that we got up uh -huh. there. Ah. You got it from where? I got it for JB. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I found it, I said, JB needs it, going to need a new charge. Yeah. So I got JB a new charge. Okay. It. And uh, it tested it out, works great. And because uh, I have two. So JB's hot wired the air compressor? Oh, that's right. And yeah. then we hot wired yeah, the air compressor. Yeah, we got the hot. So, now, so I've, got no, I've got no pressure, but I have a motor. And the motor, we, we have a little accident with the motor, but it's still working. Okay. So. <laughs> It'll get, it'll get me by for what I'm doing. And so. Susie has a new blender, but just in case Donnie can fix the old blender. Yeah, I'll, have a re I'll have one that's workable, so that's good.
3.45 and I am flat worn out because I've been out there since we came back from walking in <laughs> several hours, three hours, four hours, I don't know, a while. And when Dawn's ready, I still got to go out and hand the stuff under the house to him. But I thought I'd work on my little pumpkin ghost. Um, I'm like 20 pages of instructions in. It's not contiguous steps, so I can't tell you what step of what. But there's like 40 more steps. <laughs> so I got a bit more to do, but I'm going to work on it for a few minutes. I got him finished. I'll get Don to uh, film and crank up the ghost. I can't do it with one hand, but um, it's pretty cool. I like it. I'm glad I built it. I got a ghost peeking up out oh, of a pumpkin. Oh, look at there. Well, that's pretty magical and frightening. Very Halloween-y. Yeah, I like it. Me too.